Days of PCB cleanup resumes this week in the area between New Holstein and Chilton around Pine Creek. The company, TRC, was hired by Tecumseh Products, a former small engines company in New Holstein, responsible for PCB contaminants in the soil and water. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval spoke with neighbors and cleanup crews about the project. She has more from the newsroom. The project has been going on since the early 1990s, but for the last three years it was put on hold. Now permits are cleared and crews are on site, ready to get PCBs out. So it's an invitation to attend a workshop. Neighbors like Megan Hirschberg, who live just outside of Chilton near the Hayton Area Remediation Project, received a letter about the new phase about to begin. I think everybody should be responsible for cleaning up any mess or pollution that they make. It's cleanup of PCB from the former Tecumseh plant, which made small engines in New Holstein until it closed down. Digging up uh, sediment and uh, soil uh, that have some residual uh, PCB contamination. That's where Chris Harvey and his crews come in. They were hired by Tecumseh in 2004 to clean up the area, which left behind fish consumption advisories. It'll take some time to recover, but the work is intended to remove that fish advisory over time. So far, they've cleaned up six and a half miles. This next phase includes 1.6 miles up and downstream. They hope to finish before the fall. Make it as you know as easy and painless as possible. I gladly put up with it to know that they're making right the wrong. Hirschberg has lived in the area for 10 years, and she's noticed a difference. When they first moved there, not much reptile life, and she thinks that's because of PCB. But since crews have been cleaning up, down by the river where we walk, we've seen a lot of turtles in our yard. We've had fr uh, tree frogs and snakes and adds that seeing progress makes it worth everything that has to be done. Hopefully the process continues until mistakes aren't made anymore. Up next for the project, crews will do work downstream from where they are now, and they hope to complete the removal process by 2016, but that all depends on permits, approvals, and weather conditions. Reporting in the Green Bay Newsroom, Cassandra Duval, NBC26.